So today we're going to be finishing up the installation um, of one of these Titan Outlet um, trim plates and we'll kind of go through and show you what it does. I've already mounted this portion onto the wall and ran our line set through so that was done in a previous video but I just want to wrap up the install and I'll show you. Um, these things are really nice. You can see here um, what it's intended for is um, covering up and protecting the line sets that go from the home into your outdoor unit. It not only protects it from UV um, and obviously weather and whatnot, and it really seals up also the penetration into the home and into the unit. Um, but it also just gives it a nice clean look uh, for an install instead of just, uh, as you may have seen, a lot of the bare line sets with just the insulation flaking off coming out after, you know, after a bunch of years that material just starts breaking down. And so this will keep everything protected uh, and sealed up and watertight, um, even keeping critters from, from getting in there. So uh, it basically consists of this plate here. They have a lot of different styles. They have split ones so that you could actually retrofit them over an existing line set because you obviously wouldn't be able to slip this over the lines um, if it's already existing. So they have one that's sort of split in half and you could just sandwich them together. Um, just open up the box here and actually they have different colors. Um, they have some that are going to be good for, uh, so I have steel uh, board and batten siding. So I have a nice wide area I can use. So I use this one. They have these ones that are good for like vinyl siding. They're a little skinnier. Um, and then this is also going to come with this roll that wraps around the insulation and the lines. Uh, so that's what's left in here. Comes in a baggie. They have different colors. They have white, black. Um, it's going to come with a hose clamp that you're going to sort of cinch down over the whole thing. And this is actually, when you pull this out of here, uh, comes with a few zip ties too to keep it secure. But it's actually Velcro, and you'll see that as we sandwich it together. Um, so you wrap it over the lines, and this whole strip is Velcro. So it's easily removable. Um, snip the zip ties if you ever got to get to it and then just remove that hose clamp. So uh, pretty cool product very reasonably priced um, I would highly recommend it again just for um, Even just the aesthetic look of it. I mean just look really really makes a clean nice install. So for the cost um, it, It's it's completely makes sense considering how much you're spending on an entire system to just make it look like a really clean professional installation Okay, so we're out here by the unit and just going to need some very basic tools. Um, just a pair of nice scissors to uh, cut this sleeve to length. Uh, we're going to have plenty here because we have a pretty short run. Um, also a flathead screwdriver just to cinch up the um, hose clamp when we're done. And then I have a couple zip ties and just some cutters to trim those off. So pretty straightforward. Um, you're just going to want to sort of eyeball this to length. Um, mine's going to be a little trickier because it's pretty tight bends here. So it may not look the prettiest um, as if you just had like a perfectly straight run coming out. But um, this is somewhat forgiving. And because we have the extra zip ties here, we'll be able to sort of keep it all together. So I'm just going to get a measurement here. Just kind of rough it out, bend it around. And then I'm going to want it to actually tuck inside of the unit here a little bit. So I'll go a little extra. We could always trim it again. Um, so pretty easy to cut through this stuff. Very, very simple with a nice pair of scissors. So I'll just do that. And you can see that this stuff has some Velcro right here. Again, that's mainly just to help assist keep it together. And then the zip ties will really hold it. So basically it's just going to wrap around like this and protect all this. Now, one thing I also want to point out was um, when you are installing line sets and you're installing your electrical here, um, purposely what I did here was dropped this part of the electrical a little bit lower than this inlet here, and obviously it's below that point. So what's gonna happen is if any water gets onto this pipe, it's going to not be able to just drip down and pour into this unit it's since this is lower right here it'll just continually drip off here so just think about things like that same thing with the line sets um this point down there is the lowest point so it's not going to end up in the house it's and, and this trim piece they give you is naturally pointed down for that specific reason so water doesn't try to migrate inside um but you know if you could sort of 
make the low point and dip everything down so that it's going to naturally drip off. So um, one other thing I want to point out is that this has only been installed for about two, three weeks um, without this protective sleeve. <clears throat> and this is already starting to show signs of a little bit of breakdown um, just from weather and from, you know, the sun hitting on it and water absorbing into this foam. So very... Um, high recommendation to, to use something like this to protect it. So we're gonna go over here. I'm gonna try and initially start it. And I'm gonna keep my Velcro towards the bottom to sort of hide. Now I am a little bit tight um, with my lines here. So the Velcro, I have to really stretch this thing to get it over. But again, the zip ties are really gonna um, hold it together. And what I would recommend is spending just some, some time to really get this thing set up nice um, and I may have a few wrinkles in it but it's still going to do the job. All right, so with a little bit of wrestling, um, because I have a, like I said, very sharp bends here. So um, if you had a straight line coming out uh, right into the unit, I mean, this would be extremely simple to put on. Um, but I just worked on this for maybe just uh, two or three minutes just to, to get it all tuned in. Um, and you can see it is somewhat forgiving. That Velcro on there is very strong. So it's uh, once you get it latched on there, it's it's pretty good. It's going to stay. Um, and that's sort of, like I said, temporary. Um, it's basically just going to hold it to get it on there. And then you're going to fix this hose clamp here, which I'll just put on. And that allows you to just obviously take it off um, in the future. But it keeps it nice and sealed around where it goes into the house. So I'm going to grab my screwdriver here. Just tighten this up. tight back here so just go ahead and you don't have to go crazy because you're basically just cinching that around the rubber flange that's coming out of the house just to give it uh, so no critters and stuff can crawl up in there um, that's pretty much all you don't have to crush it down um, it'll just start to warp everything if you do so then what I'll do is I'm gonna wrap my zip ties on the areas where I feel like that Velcro may break loose over some time. So um, just to, specifically around the bends. Um, and it does come with a, what is it, about four zip ties. Uh, but feel free to add extra as you need. So I'm going to add one around here in this corner. Just keep that together. Probably one midway. Since I got four I'm going to work with, I'm going to... Spread these out. Put one there. Do one right here. And then one where it enters into the unit. And then what I like to do is actually rotate these down just to hide the dirty work. Hide these zip ties around the bottom. So just spin them around until they end up underneath. And then go ahead and finish it off with trimming those And there you have it. Uh, pretty simple install. This thing's going to be protected for many, many years um, and easily removable. Like I said, a couple zip ties, hose clamp, Velcro. Um, the additional cost is sort of a no-brainer when you're doing an entire system like this. So, um, well, I hope you guys like this video. Subscribe if you haven't yet. 
give it a like and um, check out our other videos on our channel. We have tons of different videos in showing installations and product reviews and whatnot. Um, a lot of boiler system builds and entire home builds. So tune in and uh, with that said, we'll see you guys on the next one.